What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to part two with this Sultai reanimator list. Uh, if you watch video one, which I highly suggest you do, um, you'll see that this deck seems a bit slow. Uh, that's kind of the best way I can put it. I think it does some cool stuff, but I think it's quite slow. Uh, I think for reanimator uh, kind of strategies, you're looking a, a better option is certainly something like the Garuda combo, uh, where you can just kind of go off. Uh, and I think that that's kind of what you have to do in this standard environment where, you know, we're filled with a lot of really powerful stuff right now. And so it's nice to be able to, to do something a little bit more broken. Um, this is kind of a one for one reanimator list. It's not, it's not doing it, uh, as well as it could is what I will say. That being said, uh, I do like giving every little deck a shot. So we're going to try it. Uh, we're going to do the best we can. I think we keep that. Um, and we'll pass. Looks like we're against a fairly standard Azorius control deck. Um, keep that land on top. Let's go ahead and uh, actually. No, I'm going to pass here. I'm going to drop another food token, I believe. We will, or actually, no, I'm probably just going to cycle one of these guys, right? Because next turn we've got Bonds of Revival, or Bond of Revival. So yeah, let's go ahead and cycle this now. Get a Trample Counter on our Gilded Goose, which is so relevant. Um, Alright, so here, we get to do this, we get to do this. Just auto-pay here. I mean, we get a big chunk of damage, and the problem is uh, this deck tends to just run Shatter the Sky on four. <laughs> uh, so, it's a very big possibility that this just dies next turn. Regardless, though, I mean, this is what this deck is looking to do. Uh, and I do think against control lists like this, it's actually not at its worst. Uh, solely because, you know, it's nice if they Shatter the Sky, which they do here. Um, that's kind of fine, because we can reanimate again. Uh, at some point, obviously. Um, let's drop Tamio. Let's do Bond of Revival. That's definitely the card we want. Looks like nope. That's okay. Got another one of the uh, Titanith Rex cards. <laughs> But see, after even that big 11-11 swing, they still, because of these, are at 17. Like, that feels bad. No tails should be discarded. We do get to do this again here, which is nice. But again, if they have another Shatter. Uh, the nice thing is we can recur this, so even if they do Shatter, we can certainly try again. We'll cash in Tamio. I have learned much from my ancestors. Almost clicked the Gilded Goose there. All right, so we did get a win. That feels good. I think that was a much needed win, uh, considering this deck. I think it's uh, it's a little tough, uh, is what we'll say. But that was a very clean win. You can see it devalues the Shatter of the Sky quite nicely, which is pretty cool. Um, but it is definitely a slugfest to get it through. So we're going to give it two more games, guys. I, I mean, that was a pretty good match. Like I felt really good about that when we had the right cards at the right time. Tamio. All-star.
All right. Let's see what we get. Uh, yeah, I mean, we keep it. Kind of need some lands, but... Can lean on the temple here. Sorry for the frame rates, guys. I know we've been having a lot of issues with that, so I certainly apologize. All right, well, we probably just lose this matchup, to be honest. Um, I mean, we played the temple. <laughs> Another Skyland, huh? I'm gonna take a risk. We're, I mean, we're not, we're not in a good position against this uh, mono red list. I think we may um try out a mono red list. Uh, I know that mono red really hasn't changed much uh, in this standard environment, but um, I kind of just want to see how it does in this this new standard. Because it, I mean, it seems to be performing very, very well, is what I will say. <laughs> yeah. We didn't get a creature worth uh, exiling in ours. Okay, I'm gonna concede here. We've got a Gilded Goose. This is gonna be a quick video, I think, guys. Um, I've also been dropping frames like crazy that game. Let's go ahead and jump into our third and final game with the Sultai Reanimator list. Sultai has a lot of good stuff right now. I, that's one thing that I will say. There's a lot of cool stuff in Sultai. Um, I think there's a Sultai Garuda list that's very, very good. <clears throat> I know I ran the Bant Garuda list, which I thought was quite strong. Um, but I do think that there's some some advocacy going on for that Sultai list. So I'm, I'm interested to see how that one pans out. And maybe that's one that we'll revisit uh, as well. Um, Garuda is like kind of one of my favorite decks right now. That thing is ridiculous. Like, oh. Sacrifice, huh? Let's do this. Wow, some stacked stuff, huh? <clears throat> we got the cards we wanted. We just need lands now. <laughs> hey, well, there you go. Uh, let's get you. Let's get you. Gain a couple life back here. And we'll play the Lich. Need to get ourselves some more lands here. If we can get two more, we're up to Bond of Revival, which is, I mean, nice, because it does have Trample. But I'll be honest, we're, we're going to be pushing it here. Surprising. They did not uh, do it. Um... I mean, we'll do this, but it's not going to matter that much. Um, let's just go ahead and cycle this now. Ooh, trample counter. <laughs> we'll pass. So if we draw a land next turn, we have Bond of Revival. We're just going to do some work. And they are, I mean, they're low on cards, which is worth noting. That's not good. I hate the claim the firstborn. The stuff that steals your stuff is really annoying. I don't know also why they didn't attack first. That was kind of silly. I guess because they didn't... That was... I think that was just incorrect. Alright. Uh, yeah. We're, we're done. Oh, man. This deck was a little bit rough, guys. I do apologize. This one was not my favorite. Um, but I saw it, I thought it looked interesting. It was a cool little reanimator style list, which I like reanimator. Um, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Unfortunately, it's not the best. That's okay. Not every deck has to be. So regardless, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you've got a better reanimator list, please share it. Uh, please, please share it. I know Garuda, obviously, but I'm talking other stuff, like not jank stuff, but just kind of stuff that you wouldn't normally... Uh, kind of think of as standard viable. I'm I'm happy to to try out some stuff, and I think this is what 
you know, the result of that is sometimes. But uh, regardless, it's fun to try out new stuff and it was enjoyable to play. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please make sure to leave a like and or comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already. Enter the Aquaria giveaway. We're giving away a free bundle. Uh, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, comment on any video. It can be literally any video uh, and say hashtag Aquaria giveaway. We'll let you know that you entered. Uh, and the winner will be chosen the Saturday after the set drops. So May 16th, uh, Saturday, May 16th, we'll be giving away a free Aquaria bundle. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. The support on the channel lately has been uh, uh, phenomenal. I, I cannot say anything else other than thank you. Uh, it truly, really means a lot, and uh, it's it's great to see all you guys here. So thank you very, very much. I will see you very soon in the next gameplay video.